this is my uh, reveal on Into the Spider-Verse. Now, I will say this. Disclaimer, this, this is, I'm going to spoil the movie. So, do not watch this video when you saw the movie. Okay. <clears throat> Into the Spider-Verse, the movie is about a kid named Miles Morales. And he wants to, he want to become just like Spider-Man. And how that happened? Well, here's how, here's how that happened. We begin the movie, we begin the movie uh, with a backstory from Spider-Man. Oh, by the way, that is a different saying you begin the movie with uh, Spider-Man from a different from Miles universe with yeah, different had blonde hair tell his origin how he became this and that and this and that that how he became Spider-Man who would know how he became Spider-Man it was in front of the scene of Miles and Miles is getting ready to go to his new school. Yes, he's getting ready to go to his new school. He got his luggage, he got his book bag, all his stuff ready. And then, <laughs> in the funny moment, and what was that moment? Funny moment, the fact is when his dad said, You did say I love you back. He said, Dad, are you serious? He said, say, I love you back. I love you, Dad. <laughs> Thank you. He just and his five dad just left. So then, uh, then we see Miles talking to Grand Stacy. Okay, no, I think I'm done with the story about. Forget that. So what's the thing in the movie? This is the perfect Christmas movie. Why am I saying this is the perfect Christmas movie? Let's face it. If if it if it's like Christmas or Thanksgiving, oh what is the per okay, imagine what is the perfect Thanksgiving movie to watch? I know, I watch Spider Man, the first one. Because that is the perfect Thanksgiving movie. And why is this the perfect Christmas movie? Here's why. <clears throat> this movie is amazing. That was a corny joke. Why am I saying this movie is amazing? First off, there's a lot of reference to a lot of a lot of stuff. And I actually have one right here. So if you not know, Marvel Spider-Man for the PS4. This movie gave a lot of reference to this video game. Heck, there's a scene in the movie when all the spider man when spider Gwen, Peter, Spider-Man, Peter Parker, Peter, or spy <laughs> let, me, let, me, let me fix that. There's a scene in the movie when Aunt, Aunt May took spider Gwen, Miles, and Peter into the spider cave, I call it, or the spider layer. And I saw my bro my, my brother hinted out to me and said, Hey, Aaron, look, it's, look, it's that spider, look, it's the Spider Man copy from Marvel Spider Man. I said, Oh, shoot, it is. Yes, they referenced this Spider Man costume in the freaking movie. And all of a sudden, this Spider Man is now canon. He's in the comics, he's in the movie. Now I gotta wait till he's in a freaking own TV show. It's something I've made the perfect Spider-Man video game. Back for a different story. I saw a lot of reference to freaking Marvel Spider-Man in this movie. And I gotta say, props to Sony. Because of this, they're, they're literally trying to make people buy this game. 
but for real. <coughs> What do I think of Spider-Verse? It's a good movie. Okay. If you not, not know any characters, any Spider-Man, okay. We got Miles Morales, who's the ultimate Spider-Man. We got Spider-Gwen, who's Spider-Woman. Well, she's the only Spider-Woman, but not technically by the movie, but yeah. We got Spider-Gwen. We got Penny Parker, who's Spider-Girl, we'll call her. That... <laughs> First off, uh... Sony, I saw that racist moment with the freaking big eyes and this with Penny Parker. That's so wrong. That's so wrong. We got Peter Parker, who's Spider-Ham. We got Spider-Man Noir, who's Peter Parker. And we got Peter Parker, who's Spider-Man. This version of Spider-Man is different. This version of Spider-Man has brown hair. The one from Marvel Universe has brown hair. And the kingpin killed him. Yes. But this movie get a strong message to the viewers and Miles. See, Miles wanted to protect his family. Okay, that was weird. So Miles wanted to protect his family. Including his loved one. Heck, his uncle and his figure. He found out his uncle Aaron was was working with the kingpin, and the kingpin killed him right in front of him, and he could save him. That that's the thing. We are superhero. There are sometimes this is true. We are superhero. There are those loved ones you can't save. For example, in the main in the main Spider Man comic, when Peter Parker tried to save Gwen Stacy. When he shot a web at her, at her chest, it snapped her neck. Or another example, when Uncle Ben died and Peter Parker started, that's when Peter Parker started becoming Spider-Man. Or yeah, another example, in, in the Spider-Gwen comic, when Gwen Stacy became Spider-Woman, Spider-Gwen, she had to fight her best friend, which was Peter Parker, and he died. In Spider-Man Noir comics, his, his uncle Ben Uncle Benjamin was killed by the mob gangster Norman Osborn, aka the Goblin. Well, technically, he sent Vulture to kill them, but yeah, you don't want to talk about well, go read the comics. Why are you doing? Go read go go read some comics and come back to me. I don't know. So. I also want to address something. <clears throat> if anyone, anyone would have asked me, oh, 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 who's the little girl? That's Penny. That's Penny Parker. <laughs> she is. I, I, I'm, I'm calling. I can't even go and say this. Her character, her bot, her bio, is based around anime. Yes, there's a lot of ref. Now, I'll, I'll link the description a video from the Lost Paws talking about Penny Parker. There's a lot of reference in her comic from a lot of other manga, a lot of other animes. Yes, she's just she's from Japan, and I can't. I don't want to get on Peter Por uh, Penny Parker right now. So, uh, what do I like about the movie? Everything. I will say this. This the soundtrack, I like it. No, I'm not gonna lie. I actually did like the soundtrack of this movie. See, the soundtrack in here did way better than the Grinch movie. I hated the Grinch movie. I I get it. I I get it a five out of ten. This is a perfect Christmas movie, and then we're working on a sequel. Okay. Okay, can we go see that? I see. I got Aquaman to see tomorrow. I got Dragon Ball Super Bully to see in January. So don't matter about that. But back on to this. This is the perfect Christmas movie. And it's about... What's that? Yeah, soundtrack. Sorry. The soundtrack in here is amazing. It's beautiful. 
and it's gorgeous. Now, this movie, in my opinion, get a 9 out of 10. Whoa, 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 what a 9 out of 10? I'll get on to that. I get the movie a 9 out of 10 for, for one reason. <laughs> Sony, where's Spider Cop? Okay, you not know what I'm talking about. My little brain can get the reference either. There's, there's a joke, there was a joke, slash, there was a meme. In the beginning of the first Marvel Spider-Man came out for PS4. And it got in some SJWs as he got mad and took the joke seriously. And this joke called Spider Cop. And funny about it that they referenced Spider Cop in the Spider Gang comics. Yeah, where's Spider Cop? I want Spider Cop. But you know, what are they in the movie? Give it a 9 out of 10. Hard story. Good soundtrack. Good voice acting. And a lot of funny scenes. <laughs> there was some funny stuff in the movie I did like. I gotta say this. Peter Parker, through this whole time, when Peter Parker went to, went to Miles Universe, this, 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 this brought him to Peter. This changed him. He was divorced. He, in his universe, he divorced MJ. He was living, he was living with himself, and he was eating a lot of pizza. <sighs> but when he, that, when he saw when he saw the MJ from Miles universe, that changed. You see what I'm getting here? Yeah, I think you know. But after all that, Peter had changed. He didn't change. No, that's all stupid. So what am I saying? This movie, this movie is 9 out of 10. Now I'm sorry, I know I keep rambling. This video is going to be long, but this, but this is a 9 out of 10. I recommend you to watch, I recommend you to see this movie. I prefer this beautiful masterpiece as the perfect Spider-Man movie over the garbage Cartoon Grinch movie. Oh, by the way, tomorrow my birthday, so yay for that. Now, excuse me, I need to get some sleep. And also, tomorrow I'm going to review Aquaman.